prove it to you. If I had two ultrasounds, and one of them was a baby conceived in rape, and one was a baby conceived in consensual sex, well, of, of wh course. which one is it? <laughs> they, they look the same. I, I do, I, I do but understand. But you can't tell because they're both human beings. Um, and in, in Western morality, of which I'm defending tonight, doing something wrong after something evil is never the right thing. So... Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you are new here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So today I'm reacting to Charlie Cake, the bit pro-choice women. Woo! So guys, please let's enjoy this wonderful video together. Poof. Thank you so much for coming out here and for like facing disagreements first, I guess. I really appreciate it. Um, all right, I had another question coming up here, but I really, I, the bait is there and I have to take it. Um, okay. <laughs> so I am also pro-choice and I was wondering how, um, like you, you, you said um, to the previous dude back there that um, the government in cases where human life is at risk should step in through any means necessary, be it through mandates, be it through bans, things like that, right? Again, that was a hypothetical answer. Let me clarify it. I think the government has a moral obligation to protect innocent life when confronted with the question of someone intervening, intervening to end that life. All right. So if a police officer is standing idly by and he sees someone on the side of the street and someone is going by to about to kill them, the police officer being an agent of the government has a moral right to intervene. I'm sorry, I do have to take like a little bit of a caveat here. So the behavior of the police officers in the Uvalde shooting was disgusting. Oh, I totally agree. Do you believe? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but guess what? I'm consistent. The cowardice that happened at Uvalde is the cowardice we allow to happen when there's a million abortions in our country every single year. All right. Okay. Okay. Which is standing idly by when children unspeakably get massacred. Uh, I don't know. I think there's a bit of a difference. And the analogy that I usually use or the question that I usually ask pro-life people is... Um, do you believe that the government should mandate organ donation, even in cases of like things like donating your kidney? Or right now we have a policy where even after death, if you know you have like religious things where you have to. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, <not> no. <laughs> where you know your whole body has to be intact in order for like burial rights and things like that to happen. We say that you shouldn't have to donate your organs, but. The pro-life case seems to extend to the idea that even people who are living should have to give up their kidneys to people in hospitals, maybe, who need kidneys. Well, I don't quite see it that way. Um, okay. but what I'll makes have... a uterus different? Well, first of all, Sorry. again, in 99.67% of the cases, the woman... Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Charlie! <laughs> You know, he said that government is a is government duty to um, take care of the citizen. You understand? If someone's life is in danger, they have to call the cops to protect the person. So I feel that in as a government, you just have to stand always for your citizen and your country. That is what I feel like. I'm still learning more on this video, so guys, please, let's continue and get the full gist. Poof! Made a choice that could potentially... But what about those 0.4%? What do you think should happen then? Oh, I think the baby should be delivered, of course, because I'll give you an example. Let me just prove it to you. If I had two ultrasounds, and one of them was a baby conceived in rape, and one was a baby conceived in consensual sex... Well, of wh course. Which one is it? <laughs> they, they look the same. I, I do I, I do. But you can't tell because they're both human beings. And in, in Western morality, of which I'm defending tonight, doing something wrong after something evil is never the right thing. So do you think that government should mandate organ donations? No, and I think it's a false equivalency for, so. more, for more reasons than one, for a lot of different reasons. By, by the question of do I think the, the government should come in and protect innocent life from being slaughtered, of course I do. Yes. And that, that's the answer. So, I mean, when it comes to mandating organ donations, I don't even see how that's applicable to the question. Because in 99.6% of the cases, 6-7% of the cases, the mother made a choice to be able to get pregnant. Now in the very small micron kind of 
case, then the case is that the, the, human, the human life and the human being needs to exist. So they need to be, able to be able to exist. All right, I'm gonna argue that different forms of birth control have um, like different forms of like effectiveness and someone can, could be like potentially on birth control using those control methods and it fails. Is that just a risk that like someone- Yeah, so I, I'm gonna say something. Th this, is, this is how far our morality has gone. We need to teach kids to save themselves for marriage. And a lot of these problems wouldn't be having. And if you do decide to engage in consensual marriage before, sex before marriage, and you get pregnant, that's the cost of the game. All right, okay. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Now, Charlie, he's, he normally he speaks the truth at any given time. Yes. I, go, I don't see why you say, uh, yes, I want to go and um, have sex. I want to enjoy myself. I want to do that without thinking about if, what of if she get pregnant, what will I do next? You understand? And some guys are very selfish. They will say, after all, I'm not the one going to the hospital to do the abortion. So she's the one. She'll have to know what to do. I'll just provide money for her. I don't know. Maybe I'll go and look for someone else. So she should go and... Two of you engage in the arts. So if something like that arises, you just have to know what to do. Like, it's either you... You just have to keep the child because abortion is not an option a life is a life so that's the reason why if you are um, pregnant you just have to keep that baby if you are raped like maybe someone raped you that, that is the reason why they say that when you are raped the moment you are raped you just have to go to the hospital that same day go so they will um flush your whole system everything but when you are maybe you are raped maybe let me say today you wait for like two weeks one month two months before going to the hospital then you are already pregnant they will ask you why so when you are raped you have sex that's why they say there is a um, protection you understand so when you they have a um, birth control pills that you take so you won't get pregnant you understand so is only when when your birth control pills fails you understand when it fails you just have to um keep the baby with your partner because i don't think that you just start having sex with a random guy you just have to because you just want to have sex no you just have to have sex with someone you know that if any situation arrive, I am, I am arise, uh, the person can stand by you. So that that is my take on this. Abortion is not an option. That is why Charlie also said sex before marriage. Like sorry, uh, no sex before marriage is even better. If you know you, if you know you are eager, like you are craving for sex. You just have to get married. You love, I love you, I love you. So let's have fun. Let's end, get married. So if you know you are not ready for the marriage, then don't think about sex. Wait for the right time. There's nobody that have died because he did not have sex. No. <laughs> so guys, please comment below on your own opinion on this talk on this um video. Share this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Anger Fashion Store. Fashion makes sense.